All right, guys, welcome to yet another amazing video for the Redmi Note 10 Pro, also known as Sweet and Sweet In. Now, a few days back, I did make a review about Corvus OS, and we do have an update available. What was pending was to make an install guide for this wonderful ROM for this particular device. Now, in today's video, we're going to see how to install it step by step, and we'll also have a quick look at it. I won't be doing a full review again. I might though do a gaming review to see how exactly this ROM which is rumored to be a gaming ROM performs on the Redmi Note 10 Pro which is powered by a Snapdragon 732. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kalash, let's get going. So first things first, the details are as follows. Corvus OS Official OSS ROM S Suite S stands for Android version 12. This is version 3.2 Vindicate Official Android 12L, updated on the 6th of July 2022. Now you do have the source changelog and the device changelog and if you look at the device changelog, you will notice it just says minor fixes and improvement which is not really surprising because uh, the previous version itself was pretty good, right? And uh, this is a relatively small ROM as far as you know custom ROMs are concerned. The version that we're going to be using is going to be with GApps. Now there are a bunch of things that you need to make sure before you flash your custom ROM anytime, first, second, third time. Of course, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. You need to have a custom recovery like TWRP installed. Now that Android 12 recovery support device encryption decryption so you should not really have a problem now apart from having an unlocked bootloader and twrp installed please make sure that you have more than 50 percent battery on your device remove your google account and mi account remove the face unlock fingerprint unlock pin pattern everything and reboot your device once now once you've taken care of everything there are just two files that we're going to look at right the first one is the firmware i'm going to use the indian firmware because i have an indian device and we are using the Corvus OS ROM, which comes with GApps built in. Now, as you can see, the size of the ROM is 1.68 gigabytes. Now, once you've taken care of everything, you need to press and hold volume up and power if you want to boot to TWRP in a normal MIUI ROM. This is MIUI SR, so I'm just going to use an advanced power menu. And as you can see, it is now booting into TWRP recovery. Now I've copied both the files to the phone's internal storage. If you wish, you can use a SD card, you can use a OTG pen drive, that is completely your choice. As you can see, we are booting into TWRP here. Okay, we're gonna decrypt our data so that we can do the flashing. Okay, now over here, let's go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data cache. We're not gonna wipe internal storage because that's where our files are. Okay, now go to install select the firmware add more zips select the corvus os rom swipe to confirm flash now while flashing the firmware just make sure you always flash the latest firmware of your specific region i am on the latest indian update so no worries there so i'll go to install i'll directly flash the rom swipe to confirm flash now, of course, this is a complete ROM around 1.7 gigabytes. So it will take about 45 seconds to a minute to be flashed. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been flashed successfully and there are no errors that I see. So we should be good to go. Now, what we need to do is just to be safe. We'll go to wipe, format data and type in yes, because that's going to erase all the information on your device. Okay, now reboot system. Now, that is the complete step-by-step -step process to install it, but we'll not end the video over here. We'll quickly have a look at the ROM. This MIUI SR splash screen will only be gone once I flash a fast boot stock ROM. So ignore that. And as you can see, you do have the beautiful Corvus animated, illuminated logo over here. Very, very interesting. Let's wait for the device to boot up. We will skip the setup part and we will see how the ROM feels. All right, so just like that, we've booted into the setup menu. We're gonna skip through the setup part and I'll show you around the ROM. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen and as you can see, monet everywhere. That is what I love about custom ROMs. And look at the amount of apps that are there. You just have Play Store, the absolutely important files that you need, apps that you need. Like you do have Google Camera Go, although you can install ANX on this, that is a good thing. You do have the dialer that is the google dialer messaging application and let's quickly actually go to um display and let's see if it has 120 hertz or not 
So you have tap to sleep. Okay, okay, okay. Adaptive brightness. So probably we'll have to use a quick tile over here, right? So let's go ahead and look for the refresh rate quick tile because I think this is running at 60 hertz. Let's see, do we have it? So I can't really find the refresh rate quick tile as well, which is a little weird. Let's see, let's see here. No, do we have it anywhere here? Refresh rate? No, okay. So let's quickly actually go to settings and uh, yeah, look for refresh rate. Show refresh rate is an option over here. Okay, we are already running at 120, so that's fine. So first of all, very, very few applications included in this particular ROM. If you actually go to settings, you go to about phone, you press on Android version 12, you will see it comes with the June security patch and the Vantum kernel, the latest version. The IC Linux status is of course enforcing, which is a good thing. And if you give it some time to settle down, you will feel that, you know, the ROM has started smoothening out and uh, even the Google feed, although this device is a 732G powered device, it works really, really well. Even if we talk about, say, the wallpapers over here, so let's go to change wallpaper. You have Raven walls, a lot of different Raven wallpapers. Let's choose this one and select to apply the wallpaper. And you will notice that, you know, all the elements of the user interface have changed. If you go to wallpaper and style, enable themed icons, this will look even better. So yeah, I mean, Corvus OS is something that gives you a ton of customization. As you can see over here, I've covered that in one of my videos. And this is a quick step-by-step -step guide of how to go about installing it and how you can enjoy the amazing experience of Corvus OS on your Redmi Note 10 Pro. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a gaming review on this particular OS or not. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.